Good afternoon. Welcome back to Me Being Cheap. Today I'm going to work on my 2002 Chevrolet Suburban, which has a rear cargo speaker that is blown. That would be the one. Let's see if this will pick it up. Right in here. If you take off the trim and everything, it's right here in the inside. I have a replacement that I ordered off of Amazon Prime. I'm hoping that it fix, uh, fits so that I could get this fixed. I am tired of driving around with this disassembled. So I am hoping we have a good fit. So the first thing I want to do is uh, start this up and let you hear what the blown speaker sounds like. Now I'm not going to play too much. Um, because I have had YouTube uh, pull the audio off my videos in the past for like having a radio going in the background. So we're gonna start it up. I'll let you hear what it sounds like, why it needs to be replaced, and then I'll kill it. And then we'll go through the process of replacing it. So this video um, and this video series is about me being cheap. So I suppose if I was really cheap, I wouldn't fix it. but. Honestly, it kind of gets on your nerves um, with it with it being blown. So I did shop around. I had a hard time finding a part for it, um, but the speaker that I got was only $10 off of Amazon. I did try to find used or second hand, but when I reached out to the body shops, they said um, any of the salvage vehicles, uh, that any time that the windows get knocked out, usually the speakers um, go bad. So I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's because of the weather uh, the heat, the cold, um, or what have you, but uh, anyhow, so this is a new speaker that I got, so let's start it up and let you listen. All right, we're just going to hit the remote start. I think you get the picture. We're going to take out this old speaker now. There's four screws that hold it in. And of course this would be easier if I could get that back uh, seat to fold all the way up. Um, however, one of my captain chairs, my, my bucket seats that's in the second row seating, um, I can't get it to fold up and out of the way, so I can't get the other one I can't get the third row to fold up all the way. So we'll just make it work. Sometimes these vehicles, they get old and things just aren't real great on them. One more. See what I'm doing. All right. Oh, don't want to lose that. There we go. Okay. Well, this is what this one looks like. Now, let me get the new one.
you know what they don't look the same size not at all not even close you know what and it said on Amazon that this would fit the rear cargo speaker not the door but this one right here and it doesn't and you know what this is not the first time I have ordered parts off of Amazon and it not fit All right, so this one doesn't fit, but I at least have the power cut to this speaker, so it won't be so noisy. So the saga continues, trying to find a replacement rear cargo speaker for 2002 Suburban. If you guys have any leads, let me know. Um, I checked Rock Auto already, rockauto.com. They have a lot of parts for Chevrolet products but they didn't seem to have this particular speaker. So um, I'll tell you what this one says. EASA20PLO3A1, two in the Omega sign, USA, 06602D3. So. Any ideas, I'd love to hear it. The mounting holes are about six and a half inches apart on this speaker. The actual speaker diameter is about eight inches. It's kind of a strange size. 